What are your plans for the holidays? The family plans? What, how is that shaping up for the well, Lohans? It's my brother and sister's birthday this month. They're December 21st, 22nd, so I have, I'll be with them. Um, my father's coming in with his kids and my, my mom, and we're all having dinner. We're going to do a girls' day, a spa day. Um, and just, I'm happy to be home with my family. It's been a minute since I've seen them. They never travel as much as I do. I'm always kind of all over the place, so. Right, right. <laughs> what, any, any, like, specific family traditions that you're really big on that you guys engage in? I think this is going to be, like, our first full family dinner in a long time. Wait, mom and dad? Mom, dad, all family, both grandmothers, everything. <laughs> Italians, wow. Irish dinner. So, <laughs> it's going to be loud. Probably, <laughs> but good and is, happy. Is mom doing like the seven fishes or is that kind of on the table? No, she stays with the Italian. She, yeah, right. That's like the Italian side I do like the crudités and, yeah. and then I do like weird little, I'm into Michelin star restaurants these days. So I've been going to like every place I go to, I go to Michelin star restaurants. So I want to do like little plates and everything for everyone. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, out on Long Island, I'm guessing? Yeah. Very cool. So tell me a little bit about what you like about the Daily Mail. I know that you were with us yesterday. Yeah, tell me a little bit about how you Look, see it. Look, I have it. to say, Sean Walsh has been a very good friend of mine. And I really, I appreciate the Daily Mail because they tell the truth. Yeah. You know, they don't post, it's not always, it doesn't always have to be negative. You don't have to find something that doesn't exist. And they're very um, honest in their actions and what they post. Right. And I really I respect that and I admire that. Yeah, it's 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 pretty pretty balanced. They try and make it as balanced as possible, I think. And, yeah, and that's important, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with all the media that we live in, the world that we live in now. And and what's your take on like politics in America at this point? And and you've kind of been living all over the world over the last couple oh. of years. Um, I don't know. I I just think I'd really like to explore the idea of bringing more media of what actually is going on with children and human rights more to America rather than all the negative. I think Americans, we see, when I, when you turn on the news in America, you only see bad things, but there are good things about these people and these cultures. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important to explore and I'd really like to, I feel blessed enough to be able to go to these, these countries and these places in poverty and, cha and help change that. What's, I, a, what's one project that you're really kind of into at the moment? I, oh, I raise a family that uh, lives in Istanbul and they're from Syria, so I, I stick with, I talk to them every day. Um, it's two, it's three kids and uh, their father and now their mother. We got back to them, and that they're really close to my heart. But I'm I'm planning a trip to Yemen, so we'll see what happens. I don't like to say when I'm going because it's better I just show up and get out and go in and get out and just actually understand it. But I like to actually understand it before I can discuss it. Very cool, very cool. All right, Lindsay, we'll enjoy the party. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Happy holidays. You. you too. Thank you.